Hey, so great you could join us today. My name's Steve Gwynn and this is Aaron Moore. And we've brought Aaron along today to talk to you a little bit about transition. Aaron's been working with youth for about 15 years. Aaron, I'd just like to ask you firstly, why is it important that we reach young men? Yeah, Steve, uh, one of the main reasons why we need to reach young men, I guess when I look at my life, I was a 13 year old. I was uh, pretty messed up. I, uh, my dad had recently passed away and uh, I went to a youth ministry and uh, I encountered the love of Jesus and my life was completely transformed. And so we need to do everything we can to get our young men into environments where they can be impacted by the Holy Spirit, where they can encounter the love of God and where the direction of their life can be changed. So can you tell us about Transition? What's it about and why should they come? Yeah, what Transition is, is it's a youth part of Promise Keepers. So generally young men come with a group from their church. They attend the whole conference, so they go to some sessions with their dads or other men from their church. Then on Saturday afternoon, they, they go into the Transition part of the event where it's um, specifically tailored for them. So really what we do is we um, look at some of the issues that young guys face. We look at some of the key things that uh, are going on in their world and try and minister to them in those areas. So it's a really powerful event because there's very few things in the Christian spectrum that actually tailor to young men and to the needs that they have. And so uh, it's really exciting to see young guys come and actually be ministered to on their level. And so, yeah, we're really excited. Last year we had a fantastic time at uh, Break Free. And so, Steve, this year um, we've got a different theme. What, what's the theme this year? This year we're talking about the call of God. And, you know, we passionately believe that every young person, every young man is called from the time they're born. But as they get to this age, they're really starting to ask questions and they're starting to discover who they are. And, and it's such an important time now for them to discover God's call on their life. And so we're going to be talking about a number of exciting things. We really want to create an environment where they're able to encounter God. Right. You know, I remember uh, a lot of times, you know, I would hear messages and couldn't really tell you what they were, but I remember when God touched my life. True. And so we want to have that opportunity there, create an environment where young people can encounter God. But also we're going to be talking about, as I said, the calling of God and what that actually looks like, what that means, that these guys have a future and a destiny. It's not just about these big wig speakers or older people that can actually do something for God, but they can start right now, wherever they are. And you know, thirdly, we're also going to be talking about the real issues of life. You know, a lot of the things that they're struggling with today are things that perhaps when you and I were younger, we didn't struggle with quite so much, sure. but there's so much pressure out there. And so we're going to have some really real conversations about what is it that you're taking into your life? What are you looking at? What, what, what are you feeding on? How are you feeding your spirit? And so those are some of the things we're going to be talking about. It's great. You know, let me encourage you, as older men, we've got a part to play. You know, it's so important that we uh, invite young guys along, that we bring them along to the event. It just enables them to be touched by God in a way that's unique to them. It also gives them a real connection to the body. You know, as they come uh, with other men from their church, they feel a part of something. And uh, as they leave, it gives you a really awesome opportunity to ask them about what happened, about how they felt God moved, about the different things that they saw and experienced. And it can be a real great uh, way to start spiritual conversations with our youth. You know, sometimes older guys don't quite know how to relate to the youth. And so one great way of bridging that gap is bring them along to uh, transition, allow them to be a part of things. And then as you leave, you know, you can really spend some time just uh, chatting about what went on, how God touched their lives. You know, I'm sure if you bring a young man along, you won't regret it. You'll love just seeing uh, God impact their life and uh, it'll, it'll build real strength into our churches. You know, it's so important that we see the next generation rising up and coming through and taking their place. You know, we need to make sure as men that we leave a legacy. And uh, there's a saying that our ceiling should be the next generation's floor. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what we believe. And uh, one of the great ways of, of ensuring that happen is, is bringing your young men along to transition. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Aaron. And thanks so much for joining us today. Do ask your young people to come. Make sure you talk to your youth pastor or youth leaders about it. Encourage your dads to bring their sons to this event. And we'd love to see you this year at Promise Keepers, The Call. God bless.